Let's talk about investing. All right, let's talk about investing for a little while. So in the past, you know, few posts or whatever, I've been kind of talking about, you know, put your money in the stock market, uh, especially right now, as I'm making this uh, over the past month or so, it's been at, uh, you know, record lows that it hasn't seen in a number of years. And for a lot of us, you know, it's an opportunity to um, make some money, of course, over the long run, always over the long run. But let me just kind of take a step outside of just kind of where my comfort zone is and just talk about investing in general, okay? Um, I've made maybe a couple posts, but I haven't really touched on it, so I just kind of want to touch on it here is only invest in what you know and what you understand, okay? Um, whether that's the stock market, whether that can be individual stocks, mutual funds, index funds, real estate, uh, a business that you want to start up, you know, uh, maybe uh, you're putting money in a friend's business or something like that, okay? Uh, maybe you go garage sale flipping. Uh, maybe you uh, invest in collectibles and other stuff like that. Um, it's so important to only invest in the things that you know. And here's why, okay? Uh, let's just talk about the stock market for a second. Like, I understand, I've developed at least what I think is like a general understanding um, in terms of how I like to invest in the stock market. Um, just like with everything, you can make any type of investment as complicated and like just mumbo jumbo, a whole bunch of nonsense that you don't even need about anything. You can make that about the stock market, uh, real, all those things that I just talked about as an investing tool, you can make so complicated. Like for instance, uh, if you do look at look up stuff about how to invest in the stock market, you'll hear you'll see things about like day trading, uh, buying puts and selling op or calls and like stock options and like that. Like I have no idea what in the hell people are talking about when they talk about that stuff. I I have no idea what that means. Okay, no clue. Um, first of all, I've learned that day trading is a joke. Don't do it. Okay, it, it, it's retarded. Just don't do it. Um, as far as like, uh, stock calls and puts and stocks, like I have no clue what that means. Why do I have no clue? Because I haven't bothered to take the time to look into it and learn about it. Because the way that I go about in the stock market is I look at something. Okay. I do have a couple of individual stocks. I can't lie and say that I only invest in mutual funds. Uh, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But like in, when I invest in the stock market, I look at a company, okay? And I'm like, okay, this company should be valued at this. What is the stock market telling me right now that it's valued at? Is it over? Is it right about there? Or is it under? And if it's under the value that I come up with, I buy it, okay? And then I wait until it rides up to that value and then I sell it, okay? Or if I made a mistake, I cut my losses and move on, okay? Um, I understand that, and that's extremely simple for me. And I, that's my comfort zone. I can, I can look at a company's financial statements, read a bunch of news articles, tear it all apart, and determine what I think is a reasonable value for that company. Um, that's my comfort zone. That's my wheelhouse. That's where I can operate and click, and that's where I'm at, okay? Um, <laughs> like I said, I have no idea what puts and calls are and like all that. Like I, I have fun with that stuff. I don't know what the hell that is. I've, uh, and if I were to just not do my homework on that stuff and I would just dive in and just, okay, uh, I'd have a general sense of what this is, but not really. So here I'm going to invest in this. You're going to lose every single time you're going to lose when you do not fully understand what it is that you're investing in, okay? Um, for instance, let's say you are trying to invest in collectibles and you haven't done your homework as to what the real value of this thing is. Someone's gonna come in there, lowball the hell out of you, you're gonna think you're getting a deal and clean your freaking clock, okay? And you'll lose terribly. Same thing for real estate. 
Same thing for a business that you want to open. If you don't do your homework and fully understand what you are investing in, you will lose every single time. You can make any investment in any type of thing as complicated as you want. Or you can say, okay, this makes sense to me. Okay, I've researched and read about this. Okay, um, so that's what I'm going to stick to. Okay, don't overcomplicate investments. And that's why, just to get back to when I tell people to invest in the stock market, I will never suggest like an individual stock to one person or whatever um, because they might not understand where I'm coming from. So when I suggest people to invest in the stock market, like on all these posts and all these videos and stuff, it's uh, mutual funds and index funds, okay? Those are really simple to understand. It automatically makes you extremely diverse and you're buying the market, okay? So make sure you understand what you're investing in.